Dr. Ashton, some uh, answers to the viewers' question. Let's get right into it. First one, why is it difficult in some places to get COVID-19 test results quickly? This is the million dollar question, TJ. Oh. Uh, it has to do with a lot of different variables, whether they have the capacity to process that specimen on site, or do they need to send it out? Uh, are there supply chain disruptions in terms of the reagents used to do that? Uh, the people running those tests, a lot of different steps along the way, but I wanna be crystal clear, turnaround time is the key to using testing to our advantage. It makes no point in someone getting a test if they have to wait five, six, seven, or more days to get the results. In medicine, you guys have heard me say it before, you shouldn't do a test unless you know what you're gonna do with the results of that test. And if you don't get those results for 10 or more days, that test is worthless. All right, and you know something I've been observing, you see those signs now saying, no cash accepted here, credit only. Well, our next viewer asks, should we avoid using cash or coins during the pandemic? So this is important and pay attention to the way I word it. There is no evidence to support this right now. We have heard the CDC say that fomite transmission contact on surfaces is not a major route of spread. And again, if you wanna use cash or coins, wash your hands that is so important it was before this and it will be after this all right dr jen thank you and you can submit your questions to dr jen on our instagram at dr j ashton well hey there gma fans robin roberts here thanks for checking out our youtube channel lots of great stuff here so go on click the subscribe button right over right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from gma every day anytime we thank you for watching and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.